Hey, it's Mimi, and I thought I'd share with you a project that I worked on with Casey this week. These DVD shelves that we built in his closet cost me about $25 in materials and took an afternoon to build. And I did not make up the design for this. I saw many videos on YouTube, and I just thought I'd share what I've been doing since I haven't made a video in so long. So these shelves are constructed of one by fours for the uprights. And then just these inexpensive furring strips from Lowe's. They come in eight foot lengths and they're one by twos, or not really an inch deep, but that's what they're called, one by twos. And I think they're made out of Douglas fir or pine or something like that. They were $2.88. I had Lowe's cut them into four foot lengths for me so that I could make like six shelves. So I only made them four feet wide so that they would be able to support the movies. I don't remember how much the uprights were, but those are made out of these one by fours. They also come in eight foot lengths. I can't remember how much they were, but I had Lowe's cut them into five foot lengths for me, which left me with these three foot pieces left over. The DVDs simply sit on this, on the edge of this. And then all I had to do was just screw the horizontals into the uprights. And it easily holds 75 DVDs on a four foot long shelf. These ended up holding 450 on this side and um, I guess about the same on that side. So about 900 DVDs on here. However, I did leave the top shelf um, empty so that Casey can still hang stuff up, up on one side of his closet. Most of his stuff is folded, so it's not a problem. And on this side, I'll probably put mostly DVDs that he doesn't watch very often. I already had some of these, you know, just little L brackets to support the uprights. I originally started using just sheet metal, one and a half inch number six sheet metal screws. But I had to pre-drill to use those screws because I was afraid that I was going to crack these horizontal furring strips. And then um, when I ran out of those, uh, Scott gave me some, some wood deck screws, but they were too wide. And that was the first time that I did get one of the strips cracking right there. And so, so then I went back to Lowe's when I ran out of screws. And I bought these Procrafter Premium Woodworking Screws, number six, one and a quarter inch. They're a couple of dollars more than regular wood screws, but they require no pre-drilling. And that saved me a ton of time. So the only thing I used for these shelves was $18 worth of wood, some wood screws. So I used a drill driver, a pencil, a level. I think that's it. <laughs> you don't need much. So now that I've built my prototype, in this kind of sloppy fashion out of inexpensive Douglas fir, which I didn't even sand or paint or anything. Now I know that I know what to do and I will buy either some poplar and paint it or some nice hardwood and stain it for these shelves that we'll be showing out in his room. So I just thought I'd share that with you, this quick inexpensive project. It was really quick work and really inexpensive. Hope you like that. Bye.